this unboxing is going to either really cheer me up or going to depress me even further. I hope it's at least entertaining. Hey, what's up you guys? Sally Valley here. And yes, today we're here for an unboxing video that I've been putting off for a while. Also, I think this is the first time I've ever shot a video wearing a ponytail, you guys. Oh my gosh. I usually am so self-conscious of how I look with ponytails, but oh well. Got a little scratchy with a bow attached to it and made me look at all cute. Also, I just realized that I probably look so pale, but um, this is my work makeup. Yes, I did go back to work, and this is actually the week before 4th of July weekend. Unintentional patriotic dress, I promise. But yeah, I'm not contouring anymore when I go to work. I just like very light, like MAC water weight foundation setting powder and then eyeshadow, whatever, and that's it. And I'm just like, nope, not contouring. So yeah, that's why I look really, really pale, you guys. And also, let me tell you. But yeah, today we're gonna be doing an unboxing because it is my Mapasol Tour Merge, yay! It's like last few days of June and I'm still not okay with the fact that I almost got to see BTS live and now I don't get to. But hopefully this will at least cheer me up a little bit because lately my depression levels have been about a yay. <laughs> um, my faith in humanity has been about a yay. It keeps going lower. Um, <laughs> it's I laugh because if I don't laugh I'll cry. But because of said depression levels, I've been putting off a lot of my actual videos. I have so many videos I need to edit. I have one that I finished Literally, I finished editing like a week ago, maybe more, and I still have yet to post it, and I've just been putting it off. I've just not been feeling it. Uh, it's my um, D2 mixtape list, and hopefully that's out by the time you're watching this. And I also have some other videos. By the time they go up, they'll be like old news, everyone's like, oh, she's just not reacting to this. No, trust me, I, they've just been sitting in my computer for like ever. So I did actually get this merch from Weavers um, when it actually dropped. I really wish actually I got the Army Lucky Box, but I didn't know about it. Um, but I do know what's in here, and there's two packages. I have a little package, which I'm gonna save for last week. This is probably my favorite thing in there, and I have a big package. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this unboxing. But before we do, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I do make BTS content as well as makeup related content and just other content that interests me in general. I I will warn you, I do kind of suck with the whole procrastinating and infrequent uploads. I'm very sorry about that. I don't really have an excuse, I'm just sorry. But in return, I give you a cute face, slightly humorous commentary, and deep analysis of Korean boy bands music videos, so... Yay. Without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. Okay, so one of the things in here is actually for my mom, and oh, it's the one on the top, cool. So it is woo, the shopping tote bag. So this right here, not the sole tour, shopper bag and has a little big hit seal and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. She won't mind, it's good for her. I actually forgot how much all of this costs. I just didn't remember the total, but oh well. Let's, let's see. Ooh, oh cute. Look how cute this is, you guys. Look, it's this map of the Soul Tour on it and it's got little handles and whatnot. This is so cute. Nice and roomy. Oh, I love it. So this is actually for my mom because she collect shopper totes. We actually use these a lot when we go like grocery shopping or you know when we go um, to the pet store things like that. But yeah this is really cute. Oh fuzzy. All right what else do we have in here? Oh my t-shirt! Ah I'm so excited! Okay so this this is so cool because this takes me back to my very first concert. For those of you who don't know, my very first concert was Panic at the Disco when they came to my hometown here in Florida. And it was amazing. It was their, um, oh God, I know what year it was. It was in 2016. It was June 2016. I forgot the name of the tour. I know it was like, it was literally right after Death of a Bachelor came out. And they did this thing where they would sell t-shirts at the venue and the t-shirts would be like, Panic at the Disco, Death of a Bachelor, it had like the arrow symbols on it and it would say the name of your city, Crew and I was so excited that I got one of those shirts. That was my first concert I ever went to. My dad went with me, we had a fun time and even though my seats were like 
practically nosebleeds and I couldn't see because I'm short AF. I still had such a great time and I just remember like the the thing that I like some of the stuff I bought, I bought like the crop top and I bought the shirt that had like the name of my hometown on it and I still have it and I still use it and I love it to death. So when I found out that for Map of the Soul Tour they were doing that, like putting the names of the cities on each individual shirt and they were going to be selling them at the venue, I was like, I need to have one. I need to have one. And now I have it. Now in this case, uh, it's not actually my hometown. I don't actually live in Orlando, but it is my home state. So this is so cool. And I did get it in a medium um, because it's like the smallest one. So, ooh, look, it's soft too. It's really soft. It's pretty big too. Let me see. Oh my gosh, look, it says, okay, so it says, go away. It says tour Orlando in the pretty blue. Look how pretty, oh my God. And then it has a little uh, BTS symbol right there on the sleeve. And then on the back, it says map of the soul. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me see how big this is. This is a medium, this is big. I'm not that big. I've been losing weight, you guys. I've been like working out. I'm trying to lose weight. Wait, hold on. I need to, I need to look in the mirror real quick. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Oh my gosh, this is really big. This is like oversized t-shirt territory. This is like, well, I mean, it's kind of like my Melanie Martinez t-shirt, um, the show and tell one that I have, it's pink. It, it's kind of like that. I wonder, I wonder how it would look on. It would probably look just like it. I don't know, maybe I'll shrink it into wash, but I kind of like oversized t-shirts now. I mean, it's just, it's so unbelievably hot. You guys, you have no idea. I just, literally when I'm at home, shorts, oversized t-shirt, no bra. I'm living in the quarantine life, but geez. Oh, it also says BTS on it. Yeah, no, I like this. This is cute. It's probably really, really big for me, but you know, one wash should shrink it just a smidge it. Oh, but I'm so happy. It's a really the one. <laughs> this is what I mean when I said it was gonna depress me because it doesn't remind me of what might have been. Uh, why? Why me? I'm crying, but I'm still trying to fold it really nicely. Because I'm like, I'm just thinking that that's what Jin would want me to do. Actually, he probably wouldn't care. <laughs> but I'm like, one of them would probably be like, you know, hey, you want to cry? It's fine. But like, fold your clothes. <sighs> All right, what next? Um, ooh, so this is, ah, yes, the BTS official slogan. So this is really cool. So this is like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a banner that you can take with you. And it has like BTS in their names. And I'll show you guys. But it, it looks really nice, this bag that it comes in. I feel like this is where you can like store it. Ooh, it feels nice. Whoa, this is silky. I thought it was gonna be like a towel or something, but this is nice. Ooh, this is BTS official. Polyester, ooh, made in Korea. Ooh, it's so cool. Okay, so this is what it looks like, you guys. So on the one side, it says BTS. And then on the other side, it says Beyond the Scene, and it has all of the members' names on them. Well, they're stage names, but all of the members' stage names on them. And yeah, these are the ones that you could like take to the concerts and then you could hold them up and be like, whoa, this is great. <laughs> this isn't cheering me up at all. <laughs> this is making it worse. Oh, this is cute. There's a little BTS symbol on it. Oh, that's so cute. But this is nice. But yeah, like I've seen like people that like, you can just wear it, like like just wear it around your shoulders. And since it's like not super thick like a towel, like I imagine like if you're all sweaty and stuff, it's not gonna be like super heavy or make you sweat anymore. Um, I would imagine. But yeah, this is cute. I love it. I wanted to get um I actually wanted to get the scarf, the deco scarf but they immediately sold out of that. So I went ahead and got this instead, but I really like it. I hope that the scarf comes back in stock because I want to get that too. I'm not so much of a scarf wearer, but like I also remember seeing Namjoon like put it on his wrist. You can tie it other places probably, I don't know. But yeah, I, I am excited about this. RM, Shuga, Jin, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. Cute. Okay, so let me just fold this one too. See, this one actually comes with nice packaging, so I want to make sure. But I fold it nicely. I think I have one more thing in this box. Ooh! Ta da! Mini photo cards! Oh, so cute! So, these are literally in the name's little photo cards, and I believe there's eight of them in here. 
I know that there were other ones that were like premium photos and things like that, but y'all know I love me my photo cards, so I went ahead and got those instead. And so we're gonna go ahead and open them up. They come in this cute little little folded holder thing. But I try my best not to rip it. Oh, and then um, ah, and then June. Okay, so let's go through them and take a look see. Oh, and then this is what the back of them look like. Oh, cool. Ooh. Oh, they're numbered. Okay, so let's see. So first off, we have Namjoon, and it says RM, 6 out of 8. So this is number 6. Ooh, look how pretty he looks in white. Look how pretty he looks. This is back when he still had the mullet. Namjoon doesn't have the mullet anymore, you guys. The mullet is gone, but she will be missed. Jinny. Ah, look at him, how pretty. And it says Jin, 3 out of 8. Ooh, interesting. And yes, I believe this is uh, before Ginny's haircut too. I, I I bemoan the mullets being gone, but you know I love I love all hair types on these guys. I, I think that they can rock any hairstyle or any hair color, but there are certain ones that I live for and I wish to see return, like blonde Hobie, peach Jimin, peach Jimin was good, silver Jimin actually. Ooh, that was nice. Also cherry Jungkook, purple Jin, Taeyang with any mullet any hair color too. Blonde Jin also. By the way, I feel like they all look good blonde. Okay, I'm just gonna say, all of them look good blonde. Anyway, Yoongi, ah, look at him. And it says, Suga, four out of eight, cute. Hobi, oh, wait, I wanna look at his little, oh, he has, okay, so look, this is Hobi, this is J-Hope, seven out of eight. Yes, he looks adorable. Yes, he's punching in his little dimple, I love it. But like, look at his little pin that he has on his, like, jacket on his lapel. It's a heart and it says amor. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love you too, Hobie. Jiminy. Okay, speaking of Park Jimin and them hair colors, blue haired Park Jimin. I already said this like back when I was reacting to the concept photos for Map of the Soul 7, but you know, dark blue haired Jimin, like navy blue haired Jimin, indigo blue haired Jimin, like whatever you want to call it. She can stay as long as she likes. We love this hairstyle. We love this hair color, I should say. But yeah, no, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, and this is such a cute jacket too. Super cute. Young. Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. This is V, three out of A. His outfit looks so good. First of all, okay. Kudos to whoever said, we're gonna put them all in white. I said it, but again, back with the concept photos, version one, I was like, ooh, we love the all white. It's very interesting, very different than, you know, what we're used to. I'm still living for it. I'm living for that choker too, by the way. Just notice that, hello. Oof, that's a pretty choker. It's not like, well, it's not like a choker choker, it's like a choker necklace because it's kind of sitting low on the neck, but I'm living for it anyway. Jungkooky, oh, and then this is when he has his little highlights. So this is Jungkook, five out of eight. That is so cute. Look at Jungkook. Oh yeah, and his little highlights, little kind of green in there. That's so cool. I live for Jungkook with any hair color. You know, he obviously looks good with black and brown, but like anytime we see some color in Jungkook's hair, we let Peru. Oh, so cute. You can see a little bit of his tattoo, by the way. Yes. And then, oh, okay, so this is a like a group shot so this is bts 4 to 8 and then we have jimin jin and uh taeyang and they all look so cute together we love it but i'm mean, just i is this 4 to 8 i need to count though hold on oh interesting so we didn't actually get all of them there's some that are not here so it's probably like the ones that have like the other members in like um subunit shots but that's okay. I, I'm, I'm very glad that I have like one of each. Okay, so that is the end of that box. Now, this box. So the reason why this is in a separate box is because this is ordered after this box of things that was ordered. And I'm very excited about this because Lord knows, I tried to get my hands on this thing five times. And each and every time that I tried, and each and every time that it was in stock, whether it was here or on Coco Dive, mostly Coco Dive, it literally always sold out. And I mean, like when I say sell out, I don't just mean like, oh, I got to the page and it says out of stock. No, I mean, I got it, I got to the page, I put in my card, I log in, I like go to pay, I press complete order, and then suddenly it's like, 
out of stock. I'm not blaming Coco Dye for that by any means. I'm just saying my bad luck. So, the fact that she's finally here makes me so happy. Ta-da! The Map in the Soul Special Edition Army Bomb. I'm so happy, you guys. You have no idea. Wow, my voice just went so high. I should probably mention, guys, that I got six hours of sleep last night. Maybe like five and a half. Because I had to get up at 7 a.m. Because I had to get into work early. And instead of being a responsible adult and going to bed at like, you know, 10, 10.30, 11, 11.30 at the most, I went to bed at like 1. 15 a.m. I normally go to bed at like 1.30 a.m. when I'm not working and when I've been sleeping. By the way, I've been sleeping in during this quarantine. I've been sleeping in like so late. Like I have not gotten up earlier than like 10 a.m. in like two months. So this whole like having to wake up at a reasonable hour to get to work early still not adjusting with me. So I might not be making much sense. Who cares because she's finally home. Oh my gosh, so for those of you who don't know, Army Bomb, it's a light stick that you know, take with you to concerts and that's your thing. Like we don't, we don't focus on them cell phones. We got Army Bomb or light stick because each K-pop group has their own light stick. And I do have one, I have the version 3, just because they don't actually sell versions 1 and 2 anymore on their website. But they did come out with a special edition for Map of the Soul 7, and it is so pretty. I'm so excited to open it. I'm going to put a picture of what the normal army bomb looks like because I have mine, but it's not ready yet if you catch my drift and if you don't then you will um but yeah this is what the normal army bomb looks like version three and then this is the special edition and look how pretty she is oh my gosh look at look how sleek look at her she's so sleek and pretty and look okay look it says map of the soul on it i don't know if you guys can see it I'm, i hope it's focusing but it says map of the soul and it has the little army symbol the little bts symbol and look it says bts here and then army here how pretty oh my god i'm dying i'm dying okay what batteries do you use i want me i want to make you light up but like i don't want to go get it. Oh, okay so normal triple a batteries just like the original okay i'm not going to like plug in it now just because our triple a batteries are in my dad's room and like i established my dad is already sleeping so i'm going to go ahead and insert a little video clip here of what it looks like all lit up um which i will take tomorrow so ta -da. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it turns on. Ooh. And then there's different buttons so that you have... Oh, that's too much. Okay, flash warning. Cool. I will go ahead and put a flash warning on that. This is a nice pulse. And then that's steady. Obviously, there's Bluetooth feature, which I do have the app for if I want to change colors and connect for concerts. So, pretty. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> I'm so happy. She's so pretty. I can't wait to add this to my collection. In my collection, I mean my one army bomb. But of course, it's not the only cool thing about this army bomb. We also have the dust bag. So this is to protect it from dust. Make sure. Ooh. Oh, neat. Okay, so this is the dust bag. This is where you put it in. So that way, if you don't get all dusty, you can just pop her in just like that. And then close and look. Easy travel. But wait, you might be thinking, Carla, this is really pretty and all. Yes, of course she is. But isn't this kind of dangerous to take with you to a concert? I mean, what if, aren't you worried that like suddenly you'll be waving it around and like it's so dancing and into the movement that she goes flying and breaks? And you're right, because your girl is super clumsy. But lucky for me, they also include this. So this is like the little wrist strap. So that's what this is here for. Cause I was even wondering, I was like, wait, what's that for? So you just pop her in here, nice and pretty. And then, do little bit of that and boom and there you go look how cute so then that way i can take it with me to the concert and be like woo and i don't have to worry about a thing 
except, you know, maybe smacking someone in the head with it, which is, you know, uh, not really advised. But this is so pretty. It's I like that it's silver because it pairs really well with the color because this isn't like the normal black. It's like a like a chrome, like a silver, but it's super cute. And look, it says BTS and RMB. Oh, they love it so much. I dare anyone to tell me, oh yeah, those K-pop boys, they don't actually care about you. They love me. Hobie made me a friendship bracelet. Did your favorite artist make your friendship bracelets? I think not. <laughs> and lastly, I did mention that they sent me photo cards with my version 3 of the army bomb, right? You didn't think that they weren't gonna send me photo cards for the special edition one too, did you? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at my nap, Judy! You look so cute! Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open them and go through these real quick and then we'll be done. Oh, these are soft. These are these are very similar in quality to the ones from my um, version 3 light stick. But I feel like those were probably a little bit firmer, maybe? I don't know, but it's not a complaint, it's just a, you know, observation. Okay, so let's go through it. Ah, my name Jimmy! It says on, oh, this one looks like on the back, it says RM, and has a little symbol, and map of the soul. But look at my name Jimmy. look how cute he is. Little winky wink, and his little blonde mullet. Oh, rest in peace, blonde mullet. Ah, my Jimmy. Look how fluffy his hair is. Oh my god, Jin with the fluffy hair. Be still my heart. He looks so cute. Also, that is a really cute sweater. Ah, Yoongi, look at him. Look how cute he is. This is Shuga on the back, little peace sign. Oh, listen, Yoongi stands are so blessed. We've gotten so many Yoongi Salkas lately. I am like drowning. I'm like, hold up, slow down. I love it, but like, I need to keep up. Hobie, look how cute he is. Oh, my little Hobie. This is actually, this looks, like the same pose that he had for my um, photo card that I got of him in Map of the Soul 7 version 4. Um, which is kind of cute, it's kind of funny. I'm just like, oh, maybe if I do a side by side, it'll be like the same pose. Jiminy, ooh, with the blue contact lenses. Look at that, Park Jimin. Ooh, his rings are really cute too. Ooh, the blonde hair. This is, you know, again, we, the blue hair I said that she can say, but she's already gone. It's fine. We love, again, we love blonde hair, Jimin, but wow, that indigo hair will never be forgotten. Day day! Oh, he also has blue contact lenses. Look how cute he looks. Again, fluffy hair. We love fluffy hair. We love perm on V. We love it. That's another hairstyle that we can keep is V with a perm and the dark hair. We can do blonde hair too, but dark hair, perm, nice. I honestly don't know what I prefer more, dark hair with perm or dark hair with mullet. This one kind of has both. Wait, this one kind of has both. I approve. And finally we have Jungkooky. Oh, and just when I was mentioning Jungkook in hair that isn't just a standard brown or black, we have Jungkooky with the very kind of light brown hair. Look, Looks kind of like orangish, but like not super orange, like ginger. Ginger, that's the word for it. Ginger. Ooh, the doctor must be jealous. Doctor doesn't get to be ginger, but Jungkook does. That's okay. Look how cute he is. Mm. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, this is probably like out of all the things that I, because I knew everything that I was going to get, obviously, because I ordered it. But out of everything, I think the one that I was most excited about was definitely the army bomb, second by the shirt. Um, but I, either way, I'm just so, so happy with everything. I'm very, very pleased. And with that, we are done with the unboxing, yay! Oh my gosh, that was so fun. I am very happy that I got to open up all my stuff. I'm very happy that it all came safe and wasn't damaged in any way. And you know, I, I joke about the whole, I'm so sad and things like that. You know, I feel like the pain has been like lessening slowly over time. Again, I am still very much in favor of the decision that was made in terms of postponing the concerts, don't get me wrong. And I feel like this has kind of cheered me up in a way. I mean, I was certainly really happy with the army bomb, so if that tells you anything. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you got any of the Map of the Soul tour merch and what it was, and definitely subscribe for more videos. You can check out my last video right up here. I actually have no idea what it is, again, because that does terrible postponing habits. I'm not really sure what the upload order for my last few videos are, but whatever it is, my last video is right here if you wanna check it out. Or if you wanna follow me on social media, I will be leaving those links in the description below. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.